Hello, so you want to balance your handheld gimbal. Okay, we can do that. Hey guys, I'm about to go on a film shoot here at Huntington Beach, California, and before I do, whew, it is windy. But before I do, I wanted to do this fun tutorial video on how to balance your handheld gimbal, specifically the Zhiyun Crane version 2. Now, the tips in this tutorial can apply to pretty much any gimbal out there because they're all pretty much the same these days, so let's go. So there's a good general rule of thumb when it comes to balancing your camera to a gimbal, and it's this. Get your camera balanced before you turn on the gimbal. The reason is because you don't want the gimbal motors to work harder than they should. That will prevent the battery from draining really fast, hearing gimbal motor noise, and that weird twitching that some gimbals do when they're pushed to the limits. Hold that thought. Mm. Hungry. So the first thing you want to do is attach your camera to the mounting plate of the gimbal. The camera I'll be using is a Sony a6500 along with a Sony 18-105 lens. The weight of this combo is just under 2 pounds. That includes the SD card and battery, which is the perfect weight for this gimbal which supports cameras up to 3.9 pounds. If possible, try using a tripod when balancing a gimbal. Any tripod with a quarter 20 screw will do just fine. To attach your camera to the mounting plate, simply lay the base of your camera onto the plate. For mirrorless cameras, I find it best to have the camera as close to the tilt axis motor as possible. Secure your camera with a mounting screw and you're finished. Just kidding. Uh, jokes. Now test to see if the camera falls forward or backward. If it falls forward, that means the balance is front heavy. If the camera falls backwards, it means the balance is back heavy. Whichever way, try to adjust it so that the camera doesn't fall forward or back. If you find that the knob hits the mounting screw as you're adjusting, just lift the knob and turn it in a position that doesn't get in the way of the screw. If you're still having trouble adjusting the tilt of the gimbal, you can make further adjustments by moving the tilt bracket up or down. Once you feel it looks balanced, you can double check by pointing the camera straight up. If it doesn't move forward or backward, you're set. If it does, then you'll have to adjust the balance a little bit more. Hold that thought. Mm. Mm. Next, hold your camera as leveled as possible. If it falls to the left or the right, Adjust the roll axis bracket so that your camera seems leveled and stays in place. Once your camera looks balanced on its own with the gimbal turned off, turn on the gimbal and you're good to go. Pretty darn easy. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. If you love this video, then please consider subscribing. Right, I gotta go. The sun is setting like fast, but I'm gonna leave you with some gimbal footage. Peace. Oh, wait, I'm gonna need my camera.